Hey everyone and welcome back for another deep dive. You know, we love a good space story and today we've got a pretty wild one. Yeah, this one's uh... About a crew that just got back from the International Space Station. Got back a little later than planned. A little? They were up there two months longer than they were supposed to be. Two extra months in space? Yeah. Uh, I mean... I don't know about you, but I would not be thrilled. I don't think anyone would be like, Oh, two more months stuck in a tin can, yay! <laughs> Definitely not the vacation extension I'd be looking for. No, no. So let's get into it. Why were they stuck up there for so long? Well, it's a little complicated. There were actually a couple of things that went wrong, kind of a perfect storm of bad luck. Okay, so walk me through it. First, who are these astronauts we're talking about? All right, so the crew is made up of Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, okay. Jeanette Epps, and Alexander Gabenkin. Dominic, Epps, and Gabenkin were all on their first mission ever. Wow, what an introduction to space travel. Right. Talk about trial by fire. Absolutely. And the other one. Michael Barrett. He's actually a veteran astronaut. Been up there a few times before. So at least they had somebody experienced along for the ride. Exactly. I'm sure that was a huge help, especially when things went sideways. So they were supposed to be up there for six months, right? A pretty standard mission length. Yeah, that's the usual rotation. But they ended up spending closer to eight months on the ISS. And they splashed down, let's see... Just off the coast of Florida. In a SpaceX capsule. Yep, SpaceX brought them home. Okay, so now let's get into the why. What happened? You mentioned Boeing's new Starliner capsule. Right, the Starliner is basically Boeing's answer to SpaceX's Crew Dragon. It's designed to transport astronauts to and from the ISS. A new option for space travel. Exactly. More competition is always good, right? In theory, yes. Except this time, the Starliner hit a snag. What kind of snag? Well, back in September, they were doing an unmanned test flight. So no astronauts on board? Thankfully, no. But during the return, the parachute system malfunctioned. A parachute malfunction? That's uh, a little terrifying. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Obviously, a huge safety concern. So Boeing had to put all manned Starliner missions on hold until they can figure out what went wrong and fix it. So that's why our four astronauts couldn't come home on time. They were waiting for the Starliner to get cleared for flight. Exactly. They were basically stuck in orbit with no way to get back until the issue was resolved. Man, I can't imagine what that must have been like. To be up in space knowing your ride home is delayed indefinitely. Right. It must have been a really tough situation. But, you know, astronauts are trained for all sorts of scenarios, even the unexpected. Did any of the astronauts comment on being stuck up there? Michael Barrett actually talked about it a bit. He really emphasized the incredible teamwork and problem solving that was going on behind the scenes. You know, all the engineers and support teams back on Earth who were scrambling to figure things out. Yeah, it's easy to forget about all the people on the ground who make these missions possible. Absolutely. And those folks had to adapt really quickly to this evolving situation. They were the real heroes, according to Barrett. Speaking of other people up there, what about the astronauts who are actually supposed to be on the Starliner test flight? Oh, right. So that's another layer to this whole saga. The two pilots for that test flight, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. They were already up there. Yeah, they were already on the ISS. Their mission was supposed to be super short, just eight days. Wow. And they ended up staying for how long? Eight months. They basically got their mission extended by like a factor of 30. Yikes. Plus, you've got two other astronauts who launched with SpaceX just a month ago. They're up there now, too. So the ISS is pretty crowded right now. Yeah, seven people in total, four Americans and three Russians. So what are the takeaways here? It seems like beyond just a wild story, this situation really highlights how many moving parts there are in space travel. For sure. It really shows how complex space travel is, especially now that we've got private companies like SpaceX and Boeing involved alongside the government agencies. And it's all got to work together seamlessly. Right. One hiccup, like the Starliner issue, can throw everything off. And this really brings that complexity to light. Makes you think about what this means for the future of space travel, you know, as private companies start playing a bigger and bigger role. Totally. There are definitely lessons to be learned from this whole situation, especially when it comes to safety protocols and backup plans. And the importance of flexibility. Oh, absolutely. Spaceflight is inherently risky, and things don't always go according to plan. It really makes you appreciate the dedication and ingenuity of everyone involved in space exploration, both on the ground and in orbit. Couldn't say it better myself. So, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this whole Starliner saga? 
Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let's hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more explorations of the fascinating world of space. We'll be back with another one soon. See you next time. See ya.